Moorhead State women's basketball coach Tom Hodges joining us on MSUEagles.com today. And coach, a busy week for Eagle basketball, a holiday week here. And uh, you'll uh, you'll have Thanksgiving on Thursday, but before then, uh, you're going up to the Queen City on Wednesday night. Let's talk a little bit about the Xavier matchup, uh, a team that, uh, quite frankly, you probably should have beaten last year. They got a lot of the same players. You have several returnees. Um, talk about what you'll see from that matchup Wednesday night. You know, Matt, uh, so much has happened since that game, but uh, I was watching that game earlier, and it, it kind of uh, it, it take, took me back to how close that game actually was. Jumped out 12-2 to two and uh, really gave ourselves a great opportunity uh, to win the basketball game at Xavier last year. Uh, very much the same type team we'll be facing this year. Uh, Coach Wall's done a nice job t starting to cycle her own players in there. They're starting a true freshman who's playing about 30 minutes a game uh, and, and just doing a really nice job pounding the basketball inside. That's one of their big strengths is they, they're really strong at the four and five positions. Uh, so, so that'll be one of our areas of emphasis as, as we enter the contest. Your team uh, picked up a victory over Kennesaw State. Um, and then kind of maybe took a little bit of a step backwards, if you will, uh, on Sunday. Uh, right. Definitely a disappointment there. But um, what things did you see from that film uh, this weekend, both games, that were good? And what things that uh, you guys can, can work on? Well, uh, you know, the, the Northern Illinois game, uh, I'm glad you alluded to Kennesaw State because it kind of overshadowed uh, the Kennesaw State victory, which was a great victory. Very proud to have that one. I thought in that game we, we did very well in some late game situations. That's been one of our areas of emphasis in the preseason. Uh, we did very well defensively uh, holding them under 50 points. So I was very proud of that. Uh, offensively is, is just an area where we're just going to have to continue to uh, become better. That, that coming out of the weekend, uh, our area of emphasis for the last couple of days, Matt, has just been offensive execution and the offensive fundamentals. We're going to stick to the fundamentals every day. And that's screening, cutting, passing, uh, catching, just just as elementary as we can make it uh, to, to give ourselves a great opportunity to, to have success. The thing that we really liked uh, in both games is the quality of the shot we got. Uh, in both games, we felt like we got great shots. Now it's up to us as a coaching staff to make sure we're facilitating uh, areas in our practices where we can duplicate those exact same shots that, that we feel like we've gotten in all three basketball games we've played so far. Tom Hodges is our guest on MSUEagles.com right here. And um, Friday uh, afternoon, um, eat, eat a lot of turkey on Thursday, <laughs> but then get right back at it against uh, arguably one of the best uh, teams in the country in Kentucky and, and Coach Mitchell, uh, no matter who they play, they're going to throw that in-your-face defense at you. It's, it's always a tough matchup. What types of things can you do, or, or if you can, to offset uh, their defense? Well, uh, first of all, Matthew Mitchell is one of the best basketball coaches in America, uh, men's or women's basketball. I, I truly believe that. Uh, certainly proud to be sitting in the same seat that he sat in here at Moorhead State. So uh, that that goes without without saying. Uh, but you know, Kentucky's known for their full court pressure. Uh, I think one of the things we can do is not mentally psych ourselves out about it. That for the past two seasons, uh, we have we have handled the pressure in spots, and we haven't handled it in spots. So. It's just one of those things where we'll continue to work on the fundamentals, the fundamentals of the game of basketball. Um, Kentucky is is known for uh, the full court press and, and really speeding the game up. That's their bread and butter. It's taken a two out of the last three Elite Eights. So uh, all credit goes to them. And uh, we're just really excited to have the opportunity with Xavier and with Kentucky to really test ourselves against uh, two really good basketball teams, and with Kentucky, uh, maybe even a Final Four contender. Coach Hodges, thanks for joining us uh, this afternoon. Good luck this week. All right, Matt. Thank you.